welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we have a treat for you. We are going to be doing a Maryland style steamed shrimp along with a veggie boil um, that's in a super yummy broth. So um, first we're going to get started with the broth and I will tell you all the good ingredients that go in that. This I already have some water boiling. We're going to be adding in some corn, potatoes, onions, some sausage, and then some ingredients that's going to make the broth super good. So we're going to get that going first before we do the shrimp. And just to be clear, we're not boiling the shrimp in here. Some people do that, um, but Maryland style shrimp is steamed shrimp. We're going to do that separately. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get there. Okay, so what goes in here? We just have some water in a big old pot, and we're going to do about two tablespoons of salt. Okay, I have one bay leaf. I have about a half a cup of Old Bay seasoning. I've used the rest of this can, so we're empty on this one. Old Bay seasoning, it's the best seafood seasoning out there. Don't even try anything else. Okay. So we're going to do a half a cup of that. This gives it a nice spice. We're going to do a handful of peppercorns. It's probably about a tablespoon. Just black peppercorns. And lastly, good old beer. I'm using Blue Moon. Just use your favorite, whatever you like. Um, I'm probably going to do about three quarters of this so I can drink the other quarter. <laughs> Let's see how we doing there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cheers. All right, so we're gonna let that come to a boil here, and then we'll get started on our onions and potatoes. I buy these just baby Dutch yellow potatoes, mainly because they're already the size I like them, so we really don't have any cutting to do. We'll just dump those in once this uh, boils for a little bit. Okay. All right, then we're gonna do our onion. I've got a pretty large onion and I'm probably just gonna use half of it. Okay, you cut your ends off. Cut the onion in half. I'm gonna try not to cry. <laughs> I'm gonna be quick. Okay, I always peel the outer layer of the onion off so I don't have to try to mess with this thin skin. Just, just peel the whole layer off, see? Okay, the other half of my onion I'm going to put in my little onion holder, my onion keeper, if I can get it open. I'm having issues right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm just kind of putting these in big chunks. This is going to end up going into the... Um, broth. I don't know why I can't get this open. I wanted to impress you with my onion keeper. All right, we're going to put this other onion in here, the other half. It barely fits. It's a huge. We'll put that in there. But this keeps it in the fridge, and believe it or not, it's just a little plastic thing that seals up. You cannot smell the onion. I always used to put onion in a Ziploc in the fridge, and woo, you open that fridge, and it reeks, but not in this thing. So we'll put the leftovers there. Okay, so our broth has been boiling here just for maybe five minutes or so. So we are going to go ahead and add our potatoes and onions. While this was coming to a boil, I rinsed the potatoes and finished my beer. Okay, so we'll just throw these potatoes in. And the onion. And just put it all, it'll break up. Okay, we are going to let this now boil for another five to eight minutes or so, and then we'll add in the corn and sausage. Okay, so the sausage I'm using today is just andouille sausage, which has got a little bit of spice to it. But you can use um, smoked sausage or kielbasa, whatever you prefer. So this is just uh, four links. We'll just cut up into bite-sized pieces. Okay. 
Oh, it smells good already. Usually when you buy sausage like this, it is already cooked, so it just needs to heat through. But this is the sausage um, that a lot of people use like in a jambalaya. <clears throat> so it's got a nice kick to that. Okay. So we'll let those potatoes and onions boil for a couple of minutes and then we'll throw the sausage and corn in. Okay, our broth has been going for five or six minutes with the onions and the potatoes. Whoa, almost lost a sausage. That's valuable stuff there. We want all of it to make it in the pot. Okay, so I've added the onion sausage. Oh yeah, look at, look at how delicious that already looks. It's just so flavorful and just smells so good in here. <laughs> okay, so now we'll add the corn. I have about four cobs of corn here that I just cut in half. I use a knife, which let me tell you, it's not an easy task. Have somebody else do it. Corn when flying everywhere, like the little spurts of it. I don't know what you call it, but it was a mess. If you can break it with your hands, it might be a lot easier, but this way I got it more even. <laughs> so anyway, we've just got some corn here. We're going to go ahead and add these in. And this round will boil probably also for another five to eight minutes, basically until the corn's done. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and get started on our steamed shrimp. So. Lots of people, you've heard of a shrimp boil, a crab boil. This is what this is, but we are not gonna put the shrimp in this because I prefer to steam the shrimp. It's, a, it's less liquid. We also use vinegar, and it makes it um, the shrimp just more fragrant. It holds the flavor more rather than just boiling in here. And in Colorado, in my opinion, you can't really get good shrimp. Good East Coast shrimp is not boiled on a bed of ice. Okay, it's steamed with Old Bay, that's the way to go. So, let me give you that recipe. For one pound of shrimp, which we have about one pound-ish, I don't know exactly, I split a two pound bag, so that's, it's roughly a pound. But you use a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. You can use regular vinegar if that's all you have. And like I said, we have a pound-ish, so I'm probably just gonna do a half a cup-ish. Don't ask me what that measurement is. But we'll pour that in a pot. And then I also need some water. Excuse me, camera person. Same amount of water, half a cup-ish. Ish. <laughs> okay. I should have started that burner. Okay. And then um, the recipe is typically two tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning. This is all per pound. A half a cup of vinegar, half a cup of water, two tablespoons of Old Bay. I'm using four tablespoons of Old Bay. I always double it because it has tons of flavor in it and I like the spice. So that's just, we've got to get this to come to a boil and then we will add our shrimp. And make sure that your shrimp has the peels and tails on them. You want raw shrimp um, with peels and tails. Usually you can get that deveined, so you don't have to worry about that. So as soon as this comes to a boil, we'll go ahead and throw the shrimp in. Okay, we're ready to put the shrimp in. This is boiling. As you can see, it's not very much liquid in there. That's why we call this steaming and not boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the shrimp right in. Okay, and we'll just give it a little zhuzh. That's a, that's a fancy cooking term to stir it up. Okay, then we have to put the lid on and that is going to steam until the shrimp is pink. It's probably only about three, four minutes, okay? So just pay attention to it. You can overcook shrimp pretty easily. So one thing about the, what I want to tell you about the shrimp recipe is my family is from Baltimore. So when I talk about the best shrimp is Maryland style, I'm not joking. I'm not saying it from just because. My family taught me how to make this shrimp, and it is so good. Um, again, Old Bay seasoning is the best thing to use. 
I usually keep mine actually in the freezer because I don't use it that often. I don't cook seafood a ton. Um, but, but at least keeping it in the freezer keeps it nice and fresh. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in here. All right. Now you can see this boil is happening. And don't you just want to lap that up? Yeah, it just looks wonderful. We're just going to keep this going until the shrimp is done. And then I've also am melting just a little bit of garlic butter that we're going to pour over this once we put it in our dish. Um, if I haven't told you about my garlic butter, this is my favorite thing. Chef chamois garlic butter. I get this at Sam's Club. You can probably get it online. I don't know if Costco sells it, um, but I've only found it at Sam's Club. They have a whole line of butters. They've got cinnamon butter, um, strawberry butter, which sounds weird, but it's really good. So anyway, garlic butter, I'm melting that. So we'll pour that over the uh, boil. Okay, the shrimp is still going. So we'll give that another minute or two. It's almost done. Okay, so we are scooping out all our goodies here into our big bowl that we're just going to put right on the table. Okay. That's probably good. There's a few more potatoes in here. But we're not eating soup, so we don't need all that broth. I've got some in there. And then, like I said, I've melted the scarlet butter that is going to be the bomb over that corn and potatoes. Everything's better with garlic butter, right? Okay. Now, our shrimp is done, which I just need to drain here. So you can see that in there. Look at all that seasoning on there. Give it a little shake. And we'll pour this right onto our... Ooh, I made, made like a good mess on the counter. Okay. There is our steamed shrimp and vegetable boil. You can see all that seasoning on the shrimp under that skin. All the nice peppercorns in here, the bay leaf, the old bay, all that has just made a delicious flavor in here. I'm going to show you how to peel a shrimp for those of you that do not know. Some people have difficulty. Um, this is super hot, so I hope I can do it easily. But first, you just grab it by the tail and twist the tail off. Ooh, it's hot. Oh. Sometimes that takes off a lot of the skin. Then I grab it by the legs, you just pinch in the middle, and it pulls that skin right off. Okay? Mm. OMG! Let's eat!